Where are we at? Hi guys, welcome back to episode 4 of Life is Strange 2. Uh, we just ran out of camp, uh, left it, well no, supposedly um, was leaving the camp with the boy, Daniel, and uh, we got injured. Um, I don't know where Daniel ended up. Um, so yeah, and the the guy, Finn, got injured at the camp when he exploded. Uh, the money was scattered everywhere. We, the plan didn't go to plan. And uh, God knows what happened. So the continuation, guys. Episode 4. I don't know what this episode's called. I don't know if it's playthrough. It's pr probably spanned two weeks. I don't know. I'm not too sure. If you did this episodically, well, it is episodically, they would release a video, uh, a, a episode a month. It's like five months to get the whole thing out. To hell with that. That would just piss me off. So I always wait for these games to come out <coughs> fully, and then I just play them in a marathon kind of thing, you know? So I don't forget the story. I don't, <coughs> you know what I mean, lose my thread. Once upon a time, in a while, wild world there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf they lived in peace well in the same story again and they had to go on the run i suppose that's been four months at this point since everyone saw the last episode so all the you know episode one two three but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. That's why it runs the hippies. The old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold. Drugs. <laughs> They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. He was being a dick. <laughs> the little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. I like the metaphor, like the story that they're going for. The wolves, it's pretty cool. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. So that's where we're at right now. We have no idea where the little brother is. Uh, so that's where we were staying. Uh, we have no idea what happened to the other group. The other group got captured as well, supposedly, but I don't know if they're still captured or they ran or whatever. 
I suppose that's me and I've come back. They're looking for the little wolf. Well, I mean, the, my brother, Daniel. I'm <laughs> getting into it now, a little wolf. Oh, there he is. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Oh, this is beforehand? Wish we didn't go along with Finn. Oh, no. No. I wanted to. <sighs> we did. It's okay, this... dude. We got him back. My brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? He must be dreaming. Right? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. Whoa. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <sighs> Stop! Yeah, it was a nightmare. Oh shit, I'm in hospital. That's not good. They're going to be asking questions. Police to show up. Hospital in Northern California. Two months after the blast in Merrill's. At Merrill's. Damn, two months. Two months? Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Daniel. Leftover sketchbook. Keep these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Wow, he was in a coma. I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Weird. Yay. Stupid reality shows. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of them either. This must be my punishment. <laughs> All right, so we can draw. Cool. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, I've got to focus on anything. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna say drawing the TV wouldn't be that much interesting. So hard to focus. He's got one eye. Shit, has he lost an eye? Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Trying to complete all these drawings when we've got the option to. Easy to do, but they're cool as well. I like them. Uh, draw prison bars, draw a staircase. Oh, was a representation. Well, we need two months. Feels like prison, let's draw that. Damn, it's cold. <laughs> I ruined the picture, really. Prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. Start any drawing in episode four. So there's more than one drawing? Okay. Uncle, oh, God. Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Oh, hold on. Agent Floor's card. Oh shit, so we have been yeah. contacted by the police. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't Maria Elena Flores. Call any time, Dinah, to talk. Wow, what? So they have been here asking questions. 
possibly about the drugs and everything else. Cassidy's letter, Officer Cassidy. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them too. Uh, really hope hope Hollow Sean. Fuck. Uh, the cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you and Finn, except that you were injured and the pl in police custody. That's how I got the hospital name. They interviewed, interrogated me and Hannah and Penny and let us go. Both of us weren't so lucky. Um, so both of you weren't so lucky, I guess, or maybe you earned it. Uh, I hope you are okay after what happened. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah Penny and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us poor gutter punks tolling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but no answers. Surprise. Well, fair enough. So with Finn and you gone, our family is kind of broken up. Now we are just a lonely trio train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? I know you're going to trial soon over Seattle situation. Hope you will get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home see, uh, soon. Peace, Cassidy. So, we're, I'm going to trial. I'm in hospital right now. I'm going to trial for the Seattle shit. So, it's all caught up with me at this point. We ran as far as we can. Damn. We found a lot of information out in that letter. Where the fuck is Daniel though? Wouldn't they? We don't. I don't. We, not, in that letter, it didn't say anything, and we don't. I don't know. If, oh, here we are. Call Joey. Who the fuck is Joey? So I've called him. It's a call button. He's like, "What? We're up." So <coughs> there's not much else to do in this room. This day feels like. Every other day. Of course. Just like prison. I can't move or anything, so. Yo! Afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. <laughs> Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now. Try to follow the light as well as you can. Right. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. I'm trying, man. You're moving it fast. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Alright, so we completed that. Try that was to you. Line your pen with mine. I'll try. Oh, no man, rush. A bitch. This is tough. Wait, what? Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Damn. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Damn. Mm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Hey, 
patient cleared, send him right to jail. Do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars. I always hated that game. <laughs> you can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. Jesus Christ. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. Is this my lawyer? No, but it ain't. It's an agent, right? I'm trying to put my ass away. I assume. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence. Until I get it right. Basically telling you what what you want to hear you know what i mean like like i i don't know stole a shitload of cocaine he was in my way or and then i kicked him down a fucking hill to get rid of him or something because they don't like it the, the fact that he's just gone i don't fucking know i'm gonna help you now listen close sean you fucking idiot Tomorrow you're going to jolina shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a seattle police officer you wow will spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Innocent until proven guilty. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? He was killed. Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... who knows. I hear you, but... you sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. I am quick to I am quick to anger right now in this particular segment. Everything that I do is, is, is looking on me like a judge of character. That's what you have to understand. If I'm... If, if in the interviews, if I get angry and woke up very quickly... They'd be like, hmm, you know what I mean? Like, they'd be looking at that more and more. Jesus, no. Silly little things like that. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded along with you and a missing child the only statement we have is yours what about finn sean throw me a bone here can't you see i want to help so you haven't found my brother we might have some leads you can help by telling me the truth that is the fucking truth you dickhead okay fuck the robbery whose idea was it his or yours, huh? <sighs> Fuck it. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? Ugh. Yes. I went along. I had to get money for Daniel. No choice. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was gonna happen. Nobody does, Sean, until it's too late. Yeah, now I know. Your friend is learning the hard way. You don't want this, I don't too. 
What? Hmm. Well, there you go, I don't know. I learned to lost my eye. My brother. Oh, he's lost his eye. Everything. Thank you for your statement, Sean. It's really helping. Fuck. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. Oh, yeah, it's surgery. And your mother, though. Sorry. No, Good. she's a bitch. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. I gotta say right now, this is the fourth episode. This is one of the most traumatic and uh, in-depth, serious stories I've played. I mean, this is only the second game. Life is Strange uh, was like an interesting game, a story, I experiment a little bit, um, and it was unique. But this is like real life situation. Um, I've lost an eye, man. The character's lost an eye. I mean, I mean, I, you know, at least in the, with the Chloe situation, the first one, she was in a wheelchair, but that was like a separate story of how, how it could be. And it was like, whoa, this is crazy. But this is one way street, real story. This is what happened. This is what's gone on. Uh, and it's cost me an eye, man. Shit. And we're going to prison, supposedly. So, damn. Right, what have I got here? Can I do anything? Just just look. Is he back in jail now? Oh. oh fuck. What were we thinking? At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it. I wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. You know, was it right? That, that. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. It's alright, I'll go through this again because I was rushing Hope it. the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. That was it. Yeah, okay. Can we get up? Oh, we've got to just wait for her to come back. There. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Hmm. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Damn, so I'm going there tomorrow. Sorry if you can hear background noise, guys. People are talking. I've got workmen in. Not the best time to record. So yeah, the next segment is prison, man. Damn. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So. How did your interview with Scully go? <laughs> Uh, you mean inter? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Ah, uh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Well, we try our best. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Oh. The healing is coming along nice. 
Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I could tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> oh. Change, huh? Jail for life. <laughs> Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Ugh. Coat the area using the swab and cream. I'm going to have to do this by myself by the sound of it at some point. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you got to do this. Four times yeah. a day. Wow, four times. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. All right, did he get me, uh, he got me something. Cigarette. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. What is that? My drawing book? What? Oh, my sketchbook. Or just a sketchbook. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? Is he being abused by someone? By himself? Yeah, it must be ten by now. It was nine. He might go back to Seattle. Age ten? But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. Wait, what? How did busy... Daniel's asleep? Uh, every night, how, what? Oh, maybe he is. That's why no one's been able to find him. Hold on. 23rd of February, so I had a few beers, Daniel's asleep. Same night, every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have to wait. Sean, I borrowed blanket and a few other things from your tent. What?
I can't remember who who Jake is right now. Where did this come from then? I don't know. Whatever. Fucking woo, I'm a soup uh, swear wolf. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again, gotta fix this shit. So fucking tired of running away. Alright, is that it? <sighs> Haven Point, Nevada. Met the new workers from Europe, and as an ingrid or ingrid. Cute couple of some day. Uh, how long? Talk with Jacob, he's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune, Haven Point, Nevada. Look, looks fine here. Free question mark. Ah, hey, from Haven Point, Nevada. Hmm. I gotta get to him. So he must be in Nevada, in a commune or something, a religious I'll sect. Find a way to escape. Or something like that. Tonight. So I got. So I'm on the run. I'm not even gonna go to juvie. Or whatever it is, or caught. But then that means I'm on the run for murder from the cop again. It makes me look even more guilty. Why not just give inf this information to the cops and they can go get him? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be on the run with my brother again. We're back to square one. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. Find a way to get the hell out of here. Can I have some privacy, please? I don't know why I uh, cleared that. Oh, uh, closed that. Whatever. It's so flipping dark in here. Bed sheets. Here we are. We're gonna have to climb down this way, I think. <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Uh, we've got anything to pry it open? Cool button. Look under. Nada. Hoping we could use something to pry it open. There's not much fucking to do here. In respects to that, oh, man. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. All right, that's what we're going to be using him for. <laughs> I thought we was going to um, open this. My last view of this world is in this window. All right, we've got cars. We can hotwire. That must be the way we try and get out. Reception desk. So we're like on the second floor. Alright, let's open this curtain and see what we can do if we can actually... Oh wait, hold on, I've got to set up a fake body. In the bed, right? so fake but it might work for a second <laughs> but again we're not going to be able to get <sighs> wish I could just walk out safety room what oh staff room sorry my bad god god damn it sweet dreams my oh, friend he's asleep maybe I can trick him oh man say I need an aspirin or my backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Oh man, so I need my backpack. They want me to collect shit? They've been working on these rooms forever. Oh, so fucking loud. So the only way I'm going to be able to do this is ask for medicine. Uh, staff room might have my backpack. Ah, it's going to be a bitch. Hey, sir. 
Hello? Jesus, can't even take a nap. Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him in. I could knock him out. Trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Oh, this is going to get worse and worse, man. Emergency plan. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Okay. Hold on. So. The stars me. Do a right. So out the door, do a right down the thing, and there's a fire. There's a, some stairs. So we know where to go. How the fuck do I trick him to get in here? Ah, I'm gonna have to pull this. Wait. No. Where's the. Oh, son, it's so dark. I can't do anything. Ah, uh, this I call. Joey could. Probably distract the guard dog. That's a bit much. He ain't gonna want to do that. Not for us. It's the only option I have, though, at this point. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> the windows are secured. Uh, hold on. You can't go in there. For the patient calls, I have to respond. Like now. Oh, that little prick is trying to pull some shit. Not on my watch. <laughs> well, this is my watch. So excuse me. I'm going in. <sighs> Great. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, oh. fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Uh, I know where Daniel is. Uh. No. Okay. My fucking eye is killing me. My head hurts. Oh, that's not good. I can get you some painkillers. No, it's just... I need some fresh air. Um, can we take a little walk? Trust me, I love that shit. But your friendly... God would bust us for crashing his smoke break. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? <sighs> but I'm innocent. You know I am. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. I'm not the police. You... <sighs> he shouldn't have went that. He should have just let him get the painkillers. Go get the painkillers. And then I run off. That's all I could... I think and that's maybe I should have done. I don't know. Or just maybe came out. And, I thought that's what he was going to do. Um, just let him go off. So he's gone. The guard's taking a smoke break. That's for distraction we need. We head on out quick. And hot wire a car. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Or maybe if we would have told him, he might have understood. But at the same time, I don't think that was going to work. That's why I didn't go for it. Really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Hmm. 
Well, I don't have a future. Or a girlfriend. Or rent to pay. I'm just... fucked. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't got a plan. I don't think it would. Have a good night, Doc. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, the ceiling. Too bad this isn't a movie. Can't even fit. I cannot see shit. The only option is my bloody window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. That's it. That's all I've got, man. I'm running out of options here. Wouldn't it be interesting if I had the power at this point? I don't know, and it came out of me. But at the same time, I don't know. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Alright, hold on. Pick up. Can I use it to jam to do something with it? I'm trying to, I wish I could just use this pen, a new perspective. Why do not still collectible in episode? Wow. Aw oh, man. I was hoping I'll be able to, like. Oh man, what a stupid little crap. Okay. <coughs> Basically guys, I've wandered around the room a little bit more and I found that there's a light switch. I can barely see shit. Um, and there's a sink here, which I never see. Look, it's so dark I couldn't see absolutely fuck all. It's ridiculous. It's like a bathroom. I didn't see it. So my bad. Uh, look, there's a switch. You come in here. Um, I feel like a retard. So I'm going to skim this down um, a little bit after the guy leaves, uh, the doctor. Uh, so check I first and foremost. So my apologies if this feels like a long segment. Oh, we need a glass one. Remember you said. Okay, so grab bar. This one isn't screwed in. Tear off. I can. Let's do it. Oh, I've got to keep tapping it. Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Oh shit! Okay, is that it? Is that what we had to do? Close the curtain. Uh, I'm intent on. Hold on, maybe if we use it to jar this open. I don't know. Got some scaffolding here. I never saw this before. One of those rooms under construction. So we could climb down there, maybe. 
Uh, oh, hold on. Brakes safety, here we go. Good, 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 good. So like I said, I'll trim this down a little bit because it was a bit much. It was so dark, my television. I just couldn't see shit. Probably a hell of a drop. Before we actually, if I can check the settings on this video, it's just gamma audio. Gamma might be the brightness. Yeah, look, I can't see shit. Let's do that. Wow, I can see. See, look what I mean. A lot brighter now. Alright, ambush guard. Okay, so, hold on, we can't... Alright, we can go out. Oh yeah, we wanted my backpack though, didn't we? Um, hmm. Clean getaway. We can ambush the guard. This is interesting, because I want my backpack. Fuck it. Hey, hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. Here we go. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. Oh. Damn. Woo -hoo. Well, there you go. Staff only. Right, here we go. So we finally got out of there. Alright, so we've got my stuff. Cool. Oh, cool, Finn. No way. What? What is he doing here? We can't escape. Finn. Finn. It's way too much. Over here. Holy fucking shit! No way, Sean. What the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. So, where's Daniel? Can't tell in Nevada. I'm sure I can't tell. I can't point. tell you, Finn. But I'm going to get him back. Good. Don't blame you for not trusting me anymore. My fault. You're in here. In trouble too. My bad. How you doing? So, are the police on your ass or what? Shit. Yes. <laughs> Pigs want me to narc on everybody. Like they fucking believe me. So, how bad is it? You're, I, oh. let's say, I still got one left. John, I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. Ah, uh, well. They are fuck it. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, Sean. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Much love and respect. Always. I gotta go now. Take care of him. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. 
So you should trust yourself too. All right, we're on our way. I'm annoyed this segment's taken nearly fucking an hour though. I'll just I'll trim it down as much as I can. But we had to go through the process anyway to a point, so. Pain in the ass going for hot wine of a car. Come on. You can even drive. The, and hot water car. <laughs> Back on the road to Nevada, I suppose. Guys, I might actually. Actually, hold on, this is a cutscene. Damn, don't be falling asleep. He's only got one eye after all. Shit. Needs a cup of coffee or Red Bull, something. Drove all night. Damn, lucky he didn't have an accident. He's gonna need to get some sleep at some point. He's almost nodding off now. It's just a beginning segment into the actual thing. <clears throat> faith. Episode 4, Faith. We made it a long way without getting stopped by the cops. In a stolen car. Nevada. Big ass desert. Don't want to get stuck out there. They need money for gas. God knows how far or whatever the nearest gas station is. I wonder how they map that out because that's like kind of interesting because you, you don't want to get caught short out there. Like no gas, have to walk hundreds of miles. That's insane. Oh, looks like the car actually ran out of gas. Or did it? Oh, he was having a break. He was having a break. a long way 
Lucky you got that lead in that book. What? Fucking idiots. You bothering me? Hold on. Guys, I might leave it here and uh, I'll cut down some of this part of the video and uh, that will be the end of uh, episode, uh, part of episode one, the first part, uh, Faith. Uh, I know it took like a nearly an hour to get into it or whatever it is or more or less, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did. We escaped from the hospital and we're finally going to see our brother on our way there. Uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links will be in the description below and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.